Okay, so I'm going to talk about staffs now, and I already made a reference of like most of the staffs you can get. There might be other ones I could be missing, who knows, like, I don't remember. I just made a list of the ones that are um, available as far as I know, and we're going to talk about which ones you should use, how feasible they are, etc. If my throat does not explode and make me start coughing like crazy, so I'm going to take a drink of water and then we will start. Okay, first is the Sunayaka staff. This one is going to be what we'll call the dream staff because um, the chance, or, yeah, chances are 99.99% of you are not going to be using this and the lucky person or persons that will are just going to look smugly on the rest of us. Now, the main window has the top stats you can get in any staff right now in game, so that makes it like pretty awesome automatically. But the secondary window has attack, crit, and HP. Those are really nice um, mods, like crit strike is so essential for uh, our weapons because if you're not socketed crit, then you're going to need all the crit you can get. So, yeah, this one's a really, really nice staff, but like I said, not very feasible. Next, we've got the Vishardi staff. This one is also equally nice in the main window. It's got the same exact stats, but in the secondary window, you get accuracy instead of HP, which isn't a bad thing because if you think about it, like I have 2453 with a gold weapon. With this, you could get like 2600. And then when you're beating on a block cleric with this much accuracy, like, I don't know, it might be really nice. So this is equally as good as Sunyaka's in my opinion. Maybe it's even better, I don't know, but they're both pretty much up there. However, this one's way more feasible because you can farm rent yeah, rentus endlessly. Farm it until your brain melts, which I have been kind of doing, but my brain already melted, so yeah. Definitely the staff you should be aiming for in this patch, I think, in my opinion, because it's the most feasible one, and it's a really, really nice staff. All right, next are the two AP staffs. Oh, forts are vulnerable. Well, I'll just pretend I'm AFK, because I technically am. <laughs> Not really, though. Okay, yay, my, someone's buying my scrolls. Good for them. So, um, the first thing I'm going to say is that there are two AP staffs, but you should definitely shoot for the augmenting 2 one if you're actually going to undertake this, like, crazy feat. Because this is 3.0. You go big or you go home, as the saying goes. Um, and, yeah. Well, actually, I haven't been going big, because I've been using, like, the Crucible gear, or, sorry, the AP here that isn't augmenting, so I already failed at my own saying. doesn't matter. Point is, this staff is actually really, really nice compared to the other two because it has accuracy, crit, HP, and attack when you augment it. So this could actually be better than the other two. In fact, if you got this one and combined it with one of these two, that'd be pretty nice too. But I'm getting a side, um, ahead of myself or off topic. And um, yeah, basically, if you get this, then I salute you. You are amazing. You like you're dedicated because this is no easy thing to get. And I'm gonna show you why. That's why. Look at that price. One, 182 mithril's and 2.16 mil AP. Hot damn, you have to be dedicated to get that. If you do, though, then, wow. You are, I don't know, you have so much more willpower than I do. <laughs> yep. Alright, next is the one, or the staff you can get with the Karun symbols. And um, it's not that bad. It's got the highest main window stats you can get in game, so that's pretty nice. But the problem is you don't have crit strike in the second window. So if you fully socketed crit strike here, you'd only be losing like, I don't know, what is the number on these? 69? Uh, you'd be losing some amount of crit strike. But then again, uh, I would only consider this a fallback weapon because... Oh, sorry. Um... It's something that you could probably get over time. Like, I already have the wings, which are really nice. That's what I was going to do. And, um, yeah. If you have enough tokens for this by the time, like, you haven't farmed anything else, you might as well get this. I don't know. That's what I would do. And that's probably what I am going to do, but we'll see how that goes. It's still a pretty nice weapon. Like, I won't say it's bad. It's just you miss crit strike, so it kind of sucks in that respect. Um, but, yeah, that's it for the Karoon's one. Alright, so the crafted weapon is level 58. Um, the stats are actually in between the ca no, the AP and the top end game staffs. So it's like in the middle, but those really don't matter because they're all pretty high. So I wouldn't worry too much about the main window. The second window, though, it's got crit strike, so that's nice. You're missing attack and HP, though. Which honestly isn't too big of a deal because you have crit strike. And you actually do get parry, which if you think about it, you can get quite... A nice amount of parry. Like I have 
almost 2200 with a gold weapon. With this, I'd get like, I don't know, 24, 2500 or some number like that. Which could be cool for people with low accuracy, like maybe Bacarmaclats potentially, or Atlantic Chanters, or I don't know. But there's a good chance you'll get more parries in, which helps you a little bit more in the long run. So this one also I would put on the, um, the category of get if you've given up for everything else. Because <laughs> this and the Karoons, they're nice, but I wouldn't consider them like the first choice. They're more like a second choice in my opinion. And that brings us finally to Galair Staff. Now this one's just horrible because it's the level 60 version of the 55 Crucible, and you don't really get much more, honestly. Like, you still have the same PvP attack, which is what really gets to me. If you're going to get a Combine, you get the level 50 Wyvern instead, because honestly, the amount of work you have to do to get this... Ugh, god, I don't even want to think about it. It's like, more than double the price, I think. Or maybe it's not, but the point is, this is a pain he has to get, and um, you don't really get that much of an improvement, so... Yeah, don't don't get this, please. It's It's not a good use of your time. So, um, yeah, that's it pretty much for the staffs, um, and you, should, you guys should all look at them yourselves and consider which ones you want to get, but that's just my take on it, so I hope it helps you guys decide what weapon you're going to use, so, yeah, I'm going to go probably log off now and pretend that I'm not here, because I don't really want to do forts, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I will come back again some other time. See you guys later.